Denizens of the internet. Hi. We're back. Again. I am very excited about what we're playing tonight. I'm going to read you the description, which is basically all I know about the game. Maze is a first-person adventure game about what happens when two scientists misinterpret a memo from the U.S. government and create sentient corn. And that last sentence is pretty much the least ridiculous thing about the game. Well, that's a mighty tall claim. Didn't that happen like three years ago in Iowa? Did it? No. (laughs) (laughs) So. I have a special treat for us as well. I hope it has a cob. Is it a cob salad? Actually, let me make sure that like... Ooh, a cob salad would be good. Right? I want to make sure there's not. Okay, it doesn't appear that they have subtitles. Oh, well. That's weird. Maze. Maze. When Caleb first told me about this game, I was like, oh, I hate mazes. It's completely lost on me. I like mazes and maze, as in corn. Mitchell, will you produce the bowl? Well, Mitchell doesn't know what our treat is. I don't. I know it involves... Oh, wait. Cutscene. We'll hold the bowl. Uh, I just saw sentient corn. I guess that was the corn. Do you think any of them are generals? And if so, their names are General Cornwallis? I think they're probably all colonels. Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. <laughs> that, was, that was actually really funny. So we're inside of a... F- Could you make out what was being said during that opening cutscene? It was like weird, psychedelic. Yeah. But it I sounded like the very last thing was a whisper that said, Wake up. Wake up and smell the ashes. Oh, that music is... There's something kind of like retro eerie about that music. Yeah. There's corn all around you, Caleb. Oh, God! Leave me alone! (laughs) Which of the corns is sentient? Probably the ones that were walking. Oh, how creepy would that be if, like, amongst the corn, like, eyes would open and then close? Mm. I'm not actually seeing any, like ears of corn on this just See, after the initial confusion about maze m-a-z-e versus this kind of maze i googled the game because i wanted to see what i was getting myself into and i then thought it was a horror game <laughs> <laughs> because that sounds scary as shit man Is sentient corn chasing you through a field mm-hmm So there's like a, a path cut through the corn. Yes. Okay. I have the bow. I'm going to pause long enough. Ooh, and the music continues. In honor of what we're playing. My eyes are closed for extra surprise. No, you need to open your eyes. I got white <laughs> cheddar smart food popcorn, which actually has a corn ear on the bag. Character from the game. And who doesn't like white cheddar popcorn? People are allergic to white cheddar. No, they like it. They just can't eat it. Additionally, to go with the mix that we're making, chili cheese corn chips Ooh. by Fritos. Wait. Mm. Just gonna get in there and mix it up a little bit. Additionally, and maybe I underestimated the size of the bowl we would need, original corn nuts. I'm not sure if I like corn nuts. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had corn nuts. But we should eat one uh, independently of all of the... Here. Agreed. This is a corn nut. It looks like it's an actual kernel. I dropped mine. It's an actual kernel of corn. The dog's going to come here and find it and choke on it. (laughs) I'll pick it up. That is like a nut. I like that. So, we have our... um, Corn snacks. Our maize mix, if you will, mm. for this game. And to top it all off, Mitchell, there's more corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get hungry, let me know there's corn dogs down here. 
I've had it hidden over here behind my chair since Mitchell got here. <laughs> so, onward. How do I? Fuck is that? Uh, like the top of a boat anchor that's a hundred feet tall. Like you know where it connects. Yeah. Found the bunker. Why is there a bunker? When the pointing hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. That wasn't the left mouse button, that was a controller. <coughs> We're using a controller. The game is supposed to have limited controller support. So we'll find out at what point we have to use. Because a passing a keyboard sucks. Yeah. Press escape or P to enter the pause menu. Start also does it on the <laughs> controller. Thanks, sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see like a barn off in the distance. Do we go towards the barn? I'm gonna or? get it. I get it. So le le left is right, right is wrong. Pressing Q does. I'll be the judge of that. It made the the thing go away. That's true. Yeah, there's something creepy about this so far. Yeah, I watched the trailer for it, and I thought it was a horror game, like, legit. <laughs> Is that a desk? Item added to folio. How do we do that? Okay, X is apparently our folio. A note, lazily scribbled, includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes and also says, open the big door and will probably say hello. Like the bunker door? Mm. So the snack is an English muffin. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, they came and got all them like orange boxes. That's because you picked up the muffin. You are, in fact, the Muffin Man. Press E. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the actual keyboard key. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption. Despite how much you try, all you've done is given yourself a headache. So what button... How many times did you try to eat it? Okay, so Y <laughs> is equals E. You know what I mean? I just love that it's like no matter how much you try. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, this kind of feels like progression. I'm going to go back and... Can I sprint? Whoa. That crouch? Yes. So L3 is crouch. Okay. LT is sprint. I feel like we might have missed some stuff. So before we just go... Jam for our muffin. We, we did forget to jam for our muffin. God, I knew I was forgetting something. I'm, I'm gonna go. You clearly aren't up to my level. Okay, so this is just a dead end with flowers. I keep thinking I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be like a weird corn creature. Like... Standing in the path. This was right, right? Yeah. I'm just like holding the muffin. If you look down, do you have oh. hands? Bumpers? Yeah, bumpers. Uh, no, you don't have hands. What about while holding the muffin? Nope. Ah. So what you're basically saying is we could be sentient corn and not even know it. My god. Does that make us cannibals for corn nuts and corn chips? Yes, and popcorn. I approve. Let's see what's at this house. Is that a statue? Where? Oh, I didn't even see that. Give it the muffin. I know what it wants. Muffin crotch. Broken shovel handle. Scroll wheel or the one to two is that? Yeah, so, so bumpers. bumpers. So this is like a point and click adventure game. This is like a heavy first person. on the quotes. So here's those orange boxes. What does that say? Supersonic Postal Service, Pennington Office Supplies, SSPS Mega bro. Oranges, Premium Oranges. 
from the Postal Service. So we can't go that way. Can that we go? Shitty band from the early 2000s. Shut up. They're your favorite band of all time. I like one song. One. So what we came out of that I like path. It a lot. <laughs> what is this? Big door that way. Right, doesn't it look like the big, like... Yeah. Okay, barn that, that way. But our path is blocked. By oranges! Orange burkses. This house Only is probably... adventure game logic would be like, Stack of cardboard boxes, I guess I'll turn around! But they're filled with oranges. You can't prove that. They're heavy. Okay, so there's like a... You know what, let's try the... What's like interact? I bet it's gonna it's end up being a. So you can't. Ooh, what is that? I want that. Use the shovel on it. Um, yeah. So shovel doesn't work. Muffin doesn't work. I really thought the muffin was gonna work. Okay. So there was like a backyard area. I'm fond of your mom's backyard area. Mm hmm As we discussed in a previous playthrough. Okay. Chicken coop door. There's chicken poo everywhere. Isn't it called scat? For chickens? I think it's poo as well. Yeah. Did you notice we just got the farmhouse key? I did. So we're going to get in there. No matter how many times you press it, Q still does nothing. Hit him, right. Cherry MX blue switches. Clickety-clack, clickety-clacking. Sorry, I got to mess with the Heenley Hoos. Okay, there's a little Is that a fort? Nope. You can make it a fort. Ooh, a there's a thing. Fort. A rusty nail is jammed in the wall, which we cannot currently get. Gotta pry it out with a mediocre rock. Item added to folio. This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. Chauncey. I like Chauncey. He's sweet. He's a rock. He's always been a rock for me. So I think there's nothing left to do. Is that do. A, an item we can use, Chuncy? No, the folio is different than our inventory. Gotcha. So, could we try this side door? Yeah, that, I remember seeing that like, like a crank in there. Meat grinder. So. Okay, cool. So that is how it works if you're holding an item and you try to interact. I've learned that corn nuts make me gassy. An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large old oak tree, carved statue out of old oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained <laughs> chopping down oak tree. I don't know that that's really fair. It's really dark in here. And I don't know if it's like my monitor, but it's also it really is. purple. Okay, so... A book? A really boring mystery novel. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. What kind Honey, of are you pants? leaving? Oh, somebody's here. It's Jenny! Hi, Jenny. Come say hey. Look at our maze mix. We got corn nuts and corn chips and hot corn. Press C to crouch and C again to not crouch. You can do this forever. And ever and ever. So you were right. That does appear to be a meat grinder. A sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Possibly sausage? So I now have a fruit crate as an item. I have a bathtub plug as an item. Which I don't appear to be able to put in the bathtub. Gotta get in the cave. This is my lovely wife, Jenny. Want some corn mix? 
What are you Goyles going to do? Nail clippers. I've got so many items all of a sudden. Okay, so I just plugged up the sink. And I don't be able to... Can't nail clipper the thing. Can't fruit crate the thing. Can't bash it with a shovel. Can't English muffin. So at some point we're going to need to come back and fill do something. Up with something. Yeah, you would think just clicking on it would fill it up with water or whatever. Maybe there's no running water. Maybe. But either way, if we've used, utilized a now, couple of items. I did miss what was jammed in the sausage grinder. Did we get it just It yet? just said something is jammed in it. Try and get it out with the clippers. Use them like tweezers. Nope. Negative. Bash it out with the English muffin. <laughs> okay, let's see what's upstairs in this. I bet we're house. going to have the English muffin for the entire game. You think? I do. Okay, I can't walk past this. Oh, I thought it was totally blocking the path. What is this? Bobby pin. Good for ear scratchings. My grandma always scr scratched my ears with a bobby pin. Or, like, cleaned my ears out with a bobby pin. It works. Mm-hmm. When I was a little boy. Okay. I bet oh. the crate goes there. I bet it does. Where is it? Place fruit crate on the floor. Still can't do anything with that. It says it's wobbly. It does? Where does it say that? Oh. A wobbly wardrobe. So... <laughs> created a fulcrum. Okay, so let's we'll check this room first. Which was really irresponsible without a block and tackle. I'm just saying. We all saw what happened with Laurel and Hardy and the piano. My God. Near a window like this. Oh. Okay. So boxes of stuff. More urges. It didn't look like it. So anyways, now we can continue this way. My eyelashes got stuck together. I hate that. What a beautiful window. Oh, Who's there's that thing. Window? What is that? It just looks like some kind of weird, like... Oh, there's more. Maybe they were for the monorail. Maybe. It's just some weird, creepy... Like, totems. A burnt lab report. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient cornstalks, and why did we do this? <laughs> Fair. Creepy little gnome. Oh, uh, the Half-Life 2 achievement. Yep. I'll is that, is that how I got up here? It is. You'll never forget. I'll never forget it, the Half-Life achievement. I had to do it twice. Oh, why? Something glitched out where I thought I had put it where it needed to go, but I didn't realize it was that little cubby. Oh, and then I lifted no. off. Got a mallet. And An item can be placed there. What does that look like? Uh, a keychain? Uh, a rabbit's have, foot? I don't have any. Bobby pin is the closest. Nope. So we need to place an item there when we have it. We can't go out the window. Yeah, this is a creepy place. I would be genuinely creeped out if I woke up in such a place. Especially, like, the first thing you see is corn, mm -hmm. like, shimming away. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least we know this is a video game, so if we die, it's just a matter of hitting corn -tinue. You die in the game, you die for real. No, we just have to hit corn -tinue, corn Mitchell. <laughs> okay, so the mallet must be used to do something that we've already passed, because we've checked every area we have access to, I believe. So, do we mallet the sausage grinder? Maybe it'll jam whatever's in there out. Nope. Do we mallet this sink that was misbehaving? Do we... <laughs> I keep thinking I hear you something. Watch my kids. You've been Rancid corn oil. Uh, That's a liquid. I bet it goes in the sink. Yep. Poured rancid corn oil in sink. The smell is worse than imagined. But That's what why? I should have got for our snacks. Rancid corn oil? So, dip my English muffin in and get it nice and supple again. <laughs> uh, I'm really kind of at a loss on what to do. 
Were there more areas outside to explore? Other than heading towards the barn, not that I saw. Can we head towards the barn? Although those orange boxes are in the way. Ah. I know. <laughs> Did we explore thoroughly near the statue? Yes, that's where I'm... Oh, we can get that rusty nail out with... Remember that rusty nail past the chicken coop? Yeah. I don't think it was the way of the statue. Was it? Was it past it? No. But help me remember the windmill is past the statue. I just saw it off in the distance and there was um, orange boxes blocking it. So what do you think? The, the mallet would be good to get the nail out? Maybe the clippers? Because they're pinchy? Maybe. I wouldn't want to get a nail out of a wall with clippers, though. Mm. I mean, a mallet seemed good for driving it in. Got it. Was I right? Yep. Cool. So what would we need the rusty nail for? Maybe we get the rust off in the corn oil. And then for we what reason, I have no idea, but... You didn't know that rancid corn oil works wonders on rust? Now, what about the, the basement entrance there? I can see something highlighted. But, but it doesn't like highlight as interactable when so I put my cursor be, on the other side. There? That's yeah. what I'm thinking. So, let's get back in the house. Go back to the kitchen. Is there some way to like make this door accessible so we don't have to constantly go through the front door? Doesn't appear so. So, well, we got the rusty nail. Might as well try it there. Nope. Might as well try it here. Nope. So where are we going to use that rusty nail at? What was it upstairs that we could place? I thought it looked like a keychain, but... What was that on the left? It didn't light up, whatever it was. I, I can't get any closer. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so we're back upstairs in, like, this, like, workshop area with all these... Look at these weird, like... I think they're the beginnings of the corns. Some of them kind of look like Ninja Turtles. Hmm. Well, I'm stumped. What was in the coop? The coop held the key that we used to get, to get the in the house. farmhouse. I feel almost like we might be missing an area because I haven't even seen how to get down into the basement of this house. And like you said, I feel like the way that doesn't light up when we aim at it to me indicates that we come like from the other side. Yeah. So there must be an entrance in the house somewhere. Right? Maybe that from stands somewhere else. That stands to like up that way. Oh, like an underground area? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so I'm just wandering in circles. I'm kind of lost, actually. There. So... Is there anything we can interact with in here? I really wish I had a flashlight. Because it's super dark in here. Super. Is there anything in that, like, storage room? I want to say that I picked up something that we now have while I was in here. Is there anything up high? Wait, what is that secret button? Got him. Got it. Making it much less secret. True. Truth is true. So what did... What did that... Ah. To the basement. To the basement. Got him with the secret switch. A fuse box missing a fuse. Used rusty nail as a fuse against safety <laughs> regulations. Restored power to farmhouse and it's slightly less dark than it was before. Neat. So, okay, here we go. Awesome, okay. Are you hearing that? Yeah. Hopefully it's just in the audio coming to us and it's not in the recording. We will check when we take our first break. So what do we now have that we didn't have before? Nothing. We just Power. Stuff. Oh. And what does that do for us? Well, there was the two really dark rooms. 
A CD player. You know, I thought that one of those openings on the, um, what does that say? Top secret. See if well, the light hits a it. A new path is open to us to the barn and silo. But do you remember the, um, like, vault door or bunker yeah. door? One, It had, like, a hand-looking print. And something place, else. And something that I thought it looked in exactly like the dimensions of a CD. I was about ready to go see if the English muffin went in that slot <laughs> um, because I was felt like we were getting kind of stumped. Yes, okay, so the barn, the way to the barn is open. It's but a I, barn and silo. The silo. I feel like I could see a silo off in the distance. What is, what is this? Okay, yeah, back to the door. I'm going to see if that CD does in fact go in that opening. That, there's the silo. That's a silo. It's top secret. Don't tell anybody about it, Mitchell. But it's secret. That's why you don't tell anybody about it. I get it now. Okay. How do we get through He's this winding path? No! <laughs> Making progress. Uh-oh. The CD can be used as a thrown weapon against our enemies. So could the English Muppet. I still feel like there are weird corn creatures, like, always just at the periphery of my vision. And then when I look at them, they, like, you know... I don't like it. Looks like something cool. else goes there in the middle. Slot for a key? Oh, With I didn't even DNA notice DNA on it? I didn't even notice that that was a slot at first. Good job, Mitcher. Corn congratulations. <laughs> That's terrible, Caleb. I believe you deserve some kind of fun punishment for it. I do. Mm -hmm. So, let's head to that barn, girlfriend. I really want to see what's in, like, the weird... Okay, so this weird place has, like, a weird cornfield with weird living corn and, like, a weird creepy farmhouse with weird creepy music playing. And a weird statue. And a weird statue. What could possibly be in the weird vault? That's, like, the strangest thing aside from the living corn out here. The secret corn society. Hold the shift key to sprint. Girl, I've been sprinting this whole time. Yeah, why would it say that now? Uh, that's a good point. Creepy corn creatures we gotta hide in the, in the foliage. What does that say? If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine item, equipped items for clues. What does that say? Ah. Butch... Puba... B-U-C-H-U... P... A-I-B-A? Great Kidney Cure? Mm -hmm. Tell you what, you start trying to cure, mess around, play God and cure a kidney, the next thing you know, you got living death corn stalks running around terrorizing the countryside. Alleged death corn. They haven't killed us yet. So. Oh, there's like six different paths now. Well, before I like head off into the wild blue, I'm going to go in here and check out this barn. So can I? Nope. Are there any chickens? No chickens. The corn murdered it all. So. There's equipment and farm tools. Corn of the world. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Now, I'm kind of corn illiterate. Are there many different species of corn? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, probably hundreds, maybe even thousands. Really? Uh, and it's it's almost universally that way with the produce we eat. There's so many different strains. Broom. Gross. Oh, I thought that was the hand for the thing. This yeah, sweet hat. What's it got? Reindeer on it. Get swole, get pumped. Girl. So far, I haven't seen... Oh, the broom. We got the broom. I was going to say I saw no benefit of coming in here. And we got the lore. One half of diagram. 
A diagram torn in half mm -hmm. contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. You put it inside the muffin, dip in that corn juice in the sink. Mm. Yeah, I wonder what we're going to do with that rancid corn oil in a sink. We well, must have to, like, eat eat away something. So we've been back here. There's no way out of the barn from there. So I feel confident in moving on. Um, let's try the left path first. Ooh, look at that tractor. Let's get on it and ride it. No such luck. What is the... What is that all about? Just dragging it around? Okay, so the left-hand path is blocked with orange boxes. Boxes of oranges? Mm-hmm. They're orange in color, and they also say Mega Oranges Premium Oranges on the box. What do you think was named first? The color or the fruit? I have no idea. If it was the fruit, do you think they then saw carrots and were like, shit. You can't make me game. Dog came running in here like... Uh, what is this weird, a like... Tesla coil? Is that death corn? That's death corn! There's a dead man! He's got eyes. Put up your him. dukes, death corn! Mm, don't I do can... it, he's bigger than you! Okay, so we got a poor, helpless dead man. A glove-severed hand. A charred name tag. It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in fact belongs to the dead person it was near, and it, his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the thing upside down <laughs> the whole time. I think we um might be a little simple. We got a very fashionable fedora. A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head, as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. Fernando. So, we're in like this little clearing, and we got all kinds of items. There's orange boxes there. Looks like our next stop is that weird door. I know what you did, Death Corn. I know what you did! You thought you got away with it? Slap it with a severed glove hand. What is this? Like, I know that we can't get an item from this, but I really need to get my head Does around. Does the dead guy have, like, jumper cables on him? I thought I saw that. No. Nah. What are those? Wait, oh, yeah. Why? I don't, I don't care for that. Do you think it was just, like, some hardcore BDSM with the corn? Probably. I get it. So we're now coming up behind the barn we took the left path of the rearmost path now we'll see what this is a padlock yadim wow that is a shiny lock it's almost as if it's new oh man planted by the death corn oh my goodness Fine. they're gonna ambush me there is no more corn. It's all become sentient blueprints. Though it's hard to make out. Not really. Ooh. Aww. This blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a farm <laughs> situated on top of it. The facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Ha! It is a maze. So, and I guess that's under the a pile of corn kernels and that I can't interact with yet. I got some of them. Can I sweep it up? Yes. Up. Oh, pliers. You don't know those pliers. So I guess that was what the broom was for because we don't have it anymore. An old telescope. Are we just, what? <laughs> Manufactured <laughs> like about a... S it in your backpack. <laughs> Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees, possibly because its lenses were put on backward. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. So we got a stupid telescope that nobody wants. And an awful carpet. 
and really crunchy corn. So what would we use the pliers for? Maybe to get whatever sausage? stuck out of the sausage grinder? And there was nothing left to do in the barn, right? We just went in and we got the broom, right? And half of the DNA helix for the door, I think. That was just a plan about it. A plan of half of the blueprints for something with DNA helix. So we went around the left side, blocked by oranges. We went to both branches of the rearmost path. There isn't anything on the right. Let's return. I'm going to see if I can get something out of a sausage grinder. I think we should save that for the next one. Fine. All right. Well, everyone. You got to end was... on a cliffhanger. Ooh. Ooh. Don't you want to see what happens with them pliers, girl? And that sausage grinder. Okay. Well, we'll be back. And we love you all. And when we continue, we'll see what's in the sausage grinder. Okay, bye. Bye!